We are now going to build the kicking mechanism of our kicker assembly. Let's get started. Create a new assembly and insert the subassembly we did in the previous video. The mount is not oriented correctly, so we will have to redefine its position. The subassembly is fixed because it was the first inserted. Right click on it and select float so that it is free to move. We will mate the three planes of the subassembly to the three default planes of the main assembly. If needed, right click and delete the already selected faces. Then mate the two front planes and the two right planes using a coincident relation. Finally, mate the top planes and make sure you flip the alignment. This will give the part the orientation that we want. Click OK and press F to fit the model on the screen. Now insert the main shaft part into the assembly. Add a concentric mate between the shaft's outside face and the bearing's inside face. Then place a distance relation between the back face of the mount and the flat end of the shaft. Enter point 0.0261 and make sure you flip the dimension so that it is towards the inside. Click OK then press the space bar to go to isometric view. Now go to insert components and pin the menu to insert multiple ones without clicking every time. Insert two shaft brackets and two kicking shafts as shown. Next, start adding concentric mates between the shafts and the bracket in the back. Rotate the model and add coincident mates between the back face of the bracket and the flat ends of the shafts. Add two more concentric mates for the bracket in the front. It is now aligned with the bracket in the back, so you don't need to add another concentric mate. Place a coincident relation between the bracket and the kicking shaft. Click OK, then press the space bar to switch to isometric view. Select Insert Components and add the key that will force the bracket and the shaft to spin together. Zoom in and add a coincident mate between the outside face of the key and the inner flat face of the shaft. The gap in the shaft is wider than the key, so we will need to use an advanced mate to place it. Click Width. In the Width selection box, select the two lateral flat faces of the shaft. And for the tab, select the two outer faces of the key. Don't forget that, as shown in the graphics area, you can right-click to accept the mate. Add another Width mate between the bracket and the key, to make the shaft and the bracket spin together. Right-click to accept the mate, then zoom out. We need to add one more coincident mate between the extruded face of the bearing and the back face of the bracket in the back. Click OK, then press the space bar to go back to isometric view. The kicking mechanism is moving properly. We are now ready to add the gear assembly to our kicker. Use the rotate component tool to turn it the other way round. Next, mate it concentric with the main shaft. To make it rotate at the same time as the kicking shafts, add another width mate. Select the two inner flat faces of the gear for the width selection and the outside faces of the key for the tab selection. Then right click to accept the mate. Next, add a coincident mate between the gear bracket and the shaft bracket as shown. Go back to isometric view. All we're missing now is the other set of bearings. 
Instead of using insert components to add another sub-assembly, you can hold the control key down and click and drag from the feature manager. Click on Mate and right-click Clear Selection see if anything was pre-selected. Select Concentric and click on the inside circular face of the bearing and the outside face of the shaft. Flip the mate alignment. This is a shortcut to using the Rotate tool beforehand. Next, add a parallel or coincident mate between two equivalent flat surfaces of the two mounts. Lastly, we need to add two coincident mates. The first one will be between the extruded face of the bearing and the outer face of the key. The second one will be between the outer face of the gear and the same extruded face of the bearing. Press the spacebar and switch back to isometric view. The kicker assembly is now ready and moves properly. The two mounts are fixed while the kicking shafts are rotating. 